What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to set up the Rogan Stand Pro Boomar Mic Stand. As you can see, it comes with the stand itself with the attachable C-clamp, two bolts, one long, one short, an Allen key, a mic cable, and a mic clip. So to begin the setup, we're gonna take the stand itself with the C-clamp. We're gonna wanna press down this button here on the clamp, line it up to the silver piece on the bottom here, and just slide it in, and let go of the button to lock it in place. You'll notice you're able to rotate the clamp here, which is totally fine because it adds to the flexibility of your setup. So to mount the stand onto your desktop or table, you're gonna wanna loosen this knob all the way so that you have this opening here. Then you're gonna line up this opening to anywhere on your desk or table that you wanna have your mic stand set up. Then you're just gonna fit it onto that spot and tighten the knob on the bottom to secure it to the table. So now from here, we're able to rotate it around and we can even use these knobs here to adjust the arm so I can use this bottom one here to adjust the bottom part of this arm and this top knob here to adjust the top of the arm. And when we find a position that we like for our stand, we can just tighten these knobs up to lock it in place. When we have a mic attached to the stand, we can even adjust the angle of the mic here with this tiny knob. You can also use the included bolts to permanently mount your stand onto your desk. If you're going to do that step, you're going to start by taking the C-clamp of your stand and the included Allen key here. You're going to line up your Allen key to the Allen screws here inside of your clamp and loosen it all the way so that the mount part here is completely off your clamp. So next you're going to find whichever bolt feeds all the way through your desk or table. Then you're going to take off the nut and the washer on your bolt. So now that your bolt is coming through the table, you're going to take the washer and put that back on. And then you're going to use the hole in the middle here to screw the mount piece onto the bolt. From here you'll be able to mount your stand and have a permanent setup on your desk or table. So now we can set up either a dynamic microphone or a condenser microphone depending on what we want to use. So to set up a dynamic microphone to the stand, we're first gonna take the included mic clip here and just screw that onto the thread on top of your stand and then just slip in whichever dynamic mic you wanna use. Next, we can take the included mic cable, plug the female end into the microphone, and then you can even use the grooves in the center of the stand to run your cable. You're first gonna wanna open up these claps here and then feed your cable inside the middle of the groove on the top arm and the bottom arm. After that, you're gonna wanna close the claps up so that your cable stays inside and from there you can plug the other end of your mic cable into your interface and start recording. From here you can adjust the position of the stand however you want using the knobs on the top and bottom of the stand and you can even adjust the angle of your microphone using the small knob here. There's also a mic clip adapter so that you can take it out and use it with any other mic clips. Use this mic clip here with any other mic stand. So to set up your condenser microphone to the stand you're gonna need your shock mount and your condenser mic and depending on the shock mount you have you may need the mic clip adapter piece here so we can fit the shock mount onto the threading on the top of the stand. So now you'll want to screw the shock mount onto the threading here and pinch the sides of the shock mount to slip in your mic. And the great thing about using condenser microphones is that you can either have it facing up this way or turn it upside down, whichever really fits for your setup. So like we did before, we can take the included mic cable and plug it into the mic and feed the cable through the grooves like we showed you before for a nice clean look. Now we can take it one step further and attach a pop filter to the stand. Using a pop filter with a condenser microphone will eliminate the pop in all of your plosive words or sounds, which will give you a better recording in the end. So to attach the filter to the stand, we're going to loosen the knob here on the clamp. Then you're going to line the clamp up to a spot on your stand so that the hook part here feeds into the middle groove and tighten the knob to secure it to the stand. From here, you're gonna wanna make sure that your filter reaches the front of the microphone, and now you're all set to plug your mic into your interface and start using it with your Rogan stand. Now we can even attach a smartphone or tablet holder like our very own iStand 22 to set up our smartphone or tablet to the Rogan stand. To do that, you're just gonna screw your smartphone or tablet holder onto the threading like so, and then you can take your smartphone or tablet and fit it right onto the holder. We can even take a charger for our smartphone or tablet and feed it through the grooves of the stand so we can charge our phone or tablet and have a nice clean setup. From here, you can adjust the stand however you like with the knobs on the top and bottom and adjust the angle of your phone or tablet by using the small knob here. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up your Rogan Stand Pro Boomar Mic Stand. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.